Hi there, I'm Matthew Sharp. Welcome back to the Hans Gahl Concertino Diaries. Day three, episode three. I hope you're well. I've just got back from a very long day at the South Bank rehearsing an extraordinary piece involving massed choirs and the entire South Bank site in which I play a singing, acting, cello playing, Pied Piper celebrant figure. I think it's going to be a pretty unforgettable event when it happens this weekend. Anyhow, I'm back home and I've got a cup of tea here. I was thinking about having a glass of this, but uh, it's late and the twins are going to be up early, so not tonight. Anyhow, I wanted to share one late night Hans Gahl thought with you. Yesterday I stumbled across the word equivocation and that got me thinking about the, the character and the world of this first movement. Alfred Brendel talks about piano playing being like character acting and that's something that I also hold dear. I don't think you can tell a story without intention and inflection. And for me, thinking about the character and the world of a piece helps me tune in to intention and inflection. And music, after all, is a very abstract form, so I think that anything that performers and audiences can do to concretize that abstract nature is all to the good when it comes to communicating music. So that word, equivocation, sent me in a very specific direction. It got me thinking about Macbeth, it's the play in which the world is described as fair and foul, so fair, fair and foul a day I have not seen. It's, it's the play in which Lady Macbeth encourages her husband to be the innocent flower but the serpent under it. It's also the play in which Macduff ends up being someone Macbeth has not expected to find. He's the man who was from his mother's womb untimely ripped, which is a great shock to Macbeth. So the idea of things being something on the surface and yet being something else beneath the surface seems to chime for me with what we were discovering yesterday in terms of that unsettled and edgy and ambivalent nature of that first movement. The Scottish play also connected up in maybe a more simplistic way with some very simple biographical stuff as well. Hans Gahl left Austria, came to London and then moved to Edinburgh and I wonder whether Scotland found its way into his DNA to some extent and I think that Ken and the English Symphony Orchestra have really captured something wonderful with the programme for this concert. In a way it's a haggis schnitzel sandwich in which the Hans Gahl concertino is surrounded by Scottish-inspired work, Mendelssohn's Hebrides Overture, and finally his Scottish Symphony. So those are my thoughts for today. Equivocation is the thing I'm going to explore in relation to that first movement and that very specific world of, of Macbeth. Tune in tomorrow for more thoughts. We're going to be talking about intervals. Mm. So I hope you uh, tune in and enjoy that. Thanks for listening and see you very soon. Bye.